Look at this beautiful bowl, y'all. I adore it. I just adore it. Uh, it's it's a commercial bowl. You can just tell it's a commercial grade. Um, I don't think I would have bought it at a yard sale, but I think that I would have bought it from, uh, and I'm going to use the term loosely, an antique shop <laughs> where it's all not necessarily antiques, but this is certainly, I have no idea how old it is, but, and I don't see any writing on it, but this is one of the most <laughs> wonderful bowls that I've ever had the privilege to use. So if you're out junking, when you see something like this, pick it up because you're going to love it. All right, so what I'm sharing with y'all now, you can tell it's hot and I'm into things that are quick and easy but tasty. So I am making a confetti chicken salad and I'm starting with a bow tie pasta. And I'm going to put it over in my big, wonderful, old bowl. And I have got a rotisserie chicken, which they are delicious. They're easy. And no turning on the oven or the stove or anything for y'all. Take advantage of their ability to roast off a bunch of chickens at one time. And I, I don't think I've ever had a bad rotisserie chicken. All right, I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit, but I want it chunky. I want you to know that you're eating some meat. So I'm going to leave it really, really in nice big chunks. And the thing about using a rotisserie chicken that I love so much, y'all, is to me the dark meat is like jewels. That's where we get our flavor in that chicken because at least admit it, there's not a whole bunch of flavor in a chicken breast. All right, I'm just gonna kind of mix that up and I'm gonna toss it with just a tablespoon or two of olive oil. This one doesn't get any easier, y'all. Oh, when the pasta's still warm, I love that. Because actually this is, uh, this is a cold confetti chicken pasta salad. All right, there's some bell pepper. A red bell pepper would have been pretty in here, wouldn't it? I got to wash my hands. So we're gonna use about a half of a purple onion. Now, if you don't want here for purple onion, a Vidalia is always in order, always. But the purple will give it some color. But to me, a purple onion is much, much stronger than, especially if you used to eating Vidalias. Paul, which are, when Vidalia seed, uh -huh. season is done in a lot of our recipes, say Vidalia onions, uh -huh. is it just a sweet yellow if you were like in out of Vidalia season? Yeah, and if you... Uh, if you're out of Idalia season, there is an onion out there called a Texas sweet that's really good too. So I've not had trouble finding those year round. All right, I think that's good enough. Okay, we're nearing the end, y'all. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. 
and I'm gonna put in a half a cup of sour cream. And a half a cup of mayo. Now, if you find that's not enough mayo or sour cream for you, or if you say, ooh, I don't like sour cream, then just change it over to all mayonnaise. If you don't like mayonnaise, change it all over to just sour cream. And feel free to add anything you would like to this. You could use Greek yogurt too. Absolutely, now that's what um, Cloud, her children, she's been giving it to them since the very beginning and they eat it like it's a bowl of ice cream. All right, so y'all, Teresa and I, you hadn't heard me say Eddie the first time, have you, in the last four videos. Um, that's because Teresa and I got it by ourselves today. Because Eddie's on another project. Y'all, y'all wanna listen? Sneak up and give them. Give one a peek at what Eddie's doing. You ready? Yeah, let's go. He's got his earphones in. Eddie, <laughs> your friends are missing you out there. <laughs> I told him that Teresa and I were by ourselves today because you were on another project. I'm on a counter. I'm standing on the counter. <laughs> on a, on a <laughs> counter of he's doing something else on the counter. <laughs> Uh, y'all, <laughs> I found this beautiful wallpaper. It was just what I wanted. And it was just a thousand dollars a roll. <laughs> when Eddie brought that news to me, I said, oh no, 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 no. Uh, so he said, Paula, I can paint that on the wall. You would not believe it looks just like the wallpaper. Look down here. I love, look at these crabs. See those crabs? I love them. And the birds. I love the birds. I mean, it's just like looking at the paper. I would show y'all the paper, but then I don't want to get sued. Would they sue us? We're, we're, we're making some changes. It's yeah, not, it's, yeah. It's not an exact copy. <laughs> but I know that y'all all know that Al, uh, Eddie is very talented. Wait to everybody, Eddie. And I hadn't found anything that he can't do. <laughs> Keep your hands off my Eddie. <laughs> okay, we're back in the kitchen, y'all. But I was just tickled that Eddie gave us permission to slip back there. <laughs> Eddie's favorite place is not in front of the camera. Which but when he has to be, he's, he does it very good and natural. Uh, it's amazing the talent that man has. He's almost as good as his chicken pasta salad. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.